Welcome, namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this short video, I'm going to answer a very important question that I frequently get from a lot of my patients. Does penis lengthening actually work or does penis lengthening work? Now, the American Urological Association, and if you look at the image on the right, has clearly made a statement stating that penis lengthening procedures, which usually involve division of what's called as the suspensory ligament of the penis, as well as the injection of subcutaneous fat into the organ is largely unsafe and should not be routinely recommended in clinical practice. Now, the American Neurological Association statement has been reaffirmed in 2018 and you know the multiple studies have been looked upon by the BITES board of directors and now uniformly world over we, we now know for sure that penis lengthening procedures are not safe. In fact, they come with tremendous amount of side effects. Many patients after penile lengthening procedures actually develop you know what's called as erectile dysfunction. And should you do, should you actually undergo any surgical procedure to improve your penis size? The answer is a big no. So if you're looking to increase your penis size, do not go for surgeries or do not go to urologist or do not go to you know an andrologist to improve your penis size by taking up these penile increasing penis lengthening so-called procedures. Now there are three, there are there are usually you know three penis lengthening procedures that have been used you know, uh, and some of the and you know the three procedures are. One, you know, you have the non-surgical approach where they use a device called as the chest extender. Now this, you know, studies have shown that to some extent, this can give you about 2-3 cm of uh, size increase, you know, when, when the device is basically worn for about 3-4 to four months, right? So, you look at the image on the right, that's what a chest extender looks like. There are many similar devices in the market. Again, you need to, you know, you, can't, you don't buy it off counter, right? You go to, go to an androids, go to a sexologist you know, learn how to wear the device properly, you know, it gives gentle traction on the organ and then the size increases. The other two methods of size increasing or penis lengthening, you know, uh, uh, procedures that are there is, you know, using a surgical approach where, you know, they divide, where they divide the suspended ligament, divide the suspensed ligament, the AOA has clearly said not to do it. So don't do for, don't, don't, don't go for that. And then the third procedure, of course, is, you know, injection of subcutaneous fat, where again, the American Urological Association has clearly stated that fat injection for penis lengthening procedures is not recommended. So does penis lengthening work? No, it does not work from a surgical viewpoint. Don't take any surgeries for penile lengthening. One thing that you can do is maybe go with a just extender. And that too, just extender is not recommended for everyone. Why? Because over 55% of men who actually have normal sized organ think that their organ is actually small. So first go to a sexologist, go to an andrologist. First measure the size of your organ and actually see whether you have a small penis or you have what's called as a small penis syndrome where you think you have a small penis. So don't go about increasing the size of your penis, leave it as it is. Guys, you don't need, you know, a penile lengthening procedure. A large proportion of women do not look at the size of your organ and judge you, right? So that comes, you know, in the, in if, you know, how a woman selects a man is not based on the size of the organ. There are so many other factors, multiple factors on how a man selects a woman, um, how a woman selects a man. So do not worry about, you know, the penis size at all. Take it easy. I hope you like this video. Like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe, share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah. Signing off for now, welcome.